Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to our website. Uh, so I'm Edith Smets from Belgium, and this is my colleague Saul Reyes from Colombia. We are both neurologists, and we work together with Prof G in London. So during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we have all been uh, training our virtual neurology skills, and we have spent a significant amount of time on putting this all together on this Virtual X website. So let me tell you a bit more about why we did this. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we are all turning to remote consultations. Our team has also moved to a principle of digital first. And unless there is any particular concerns, most consultations are now done by telemedicine. Uh, however, uh, we and the majority of uh, neurologists around the world did not receive any formal training on how to perform a virtual clinic. That is why Prof G, Ide and I, have uh, set up this platform to share with you our version of uh, what a virtual neurological examination could look like. So, and we have to acknowledge that uh, our colleagues from the stroke field have always been one step ahead of us when it comes to telemedicine. So they have already integrated the principles of telemedicine in their daily practice. So the flagship is definitely the stroke ambulance in which neurologists um, assess remotely whether a patient with suspected stroke would benefit from treatment. But this is in contrast with the general neurologists who have always been understandably uh, keen on doing uh, or performing the, the clinical examination face to face. And this made that at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, there was very little evidence uh, available or experience with performing virtual uh, clinical assessments uh, in patients. So our uh, virtual neurological examination consists of three parts and we have included a short video for each of them. In uh, these videos, we have incorporated very practical tips such as the one index finger rule that allow us to get things done correctly and efficiently from the uh, very first attempt. Uh, all the uh, contents are available for free so that you can see for yourself, as, as uh, we say, the proof is in the pudding. Yes. And so finally, we want to emphasize that this project goes beyond me, Saul, and Prof Chi. So if you are a healthcare practitioner, neurologist, neurology trainee, or anybody with experience in the field, and you have an opinion about uh, or virtual examination on, or how to perform um, aspects of the virtual uh, neurologic examination in general, please get in touch because we want this website to be uh, a community effort with worldwide inputs. Thank you very much for being here and enjoy our website.